What's up Leo? This is going to be your love forecast for the first two weeks of September. This is for my Leo Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the Cross Watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. Also, I do offer personal readings. All the info for that's in the description box of the video. And I am on Instagram and TikTok if you want to follow me over there. I've put the links to those in the description box as well. All right, so let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in please for my Leo? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love. First two weeks of September. Any love messages for my Leo? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. First two weeks of September. The Devil, Leo, Eight of Wands and the Two of Wands. Brilliant. Ace of Wands, a lot of Wands and the Temperance card. Okay, Leo, something that has been slow or testing your patience is picking up speed. Basically, we've got the Eight of Wands here. Temperance in the overall energy, there's someone that you have a lot of chemistry with, a lot of passion with, could be dealing with another fire sign, another Leo, Aries or Sagittarius. Something that's been very much at a crossroads or there's been indecision, it's like it's picking up speed, okay? With the Devil card, it could be that there's something that has been a little stuck. I'm almost getting you could be connected to someone where maybe there has been um, a little bit of a block in moving forward. The Devil card can be you know, an outside energy maybe, um, something uh, or fear, something that's causing a lot of stagnancy. The devil card though is I'm, it's more so I'm getting there's someone that you have heavy attraction with, okay? It's almost like an obsession energy. I feel that you've got someone that's coming in, maybe you've been waiting to hear from someone or you've been waiting to make a decision on something with regards to this person and now there's going to be news or communication or movement. Yet, Six of Cups, there we go, Eight of Wands and Six of Cups. So some kind of a reconciliation or a reunion kind of an energy. This is a person that you could have already built some memories with, you could have a past with. Um, there's some kind of a reinvigoration of passion here with the Ace of Wands. Why has this been at a Two of Wands? Six of Wands, some kind of a success, Leo. Um, someone wants your attention. It could be that maybe you've been stalled, maybe you've sort of been holding on to this, but you had another choice or an option, or you've been trying to make a decision between this person and another person, because the two of wands. And I feel, like I said, that someone's coming towards you, moving towards you very quickly, and you're gonna be feeling very successful. Let's see what this devil card is. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. Something's definitely been slowing down the connection. Okay, with that devil card, it could be that someone had, you know, some fears in coming forward um, and offering you something committed. Knight of Pentacles would be a commitment but it's very slow. And with that devil card, it could be, like I said, that maybe someone had some fears in moving forward, or maybe there were some um, outside obstacles. Maybe this person had to cut away um, another connection, or perhaps there was um, some issues around money and finances as well. Maybe this person was having trouble with their stability. And the devil card sometimes can be, you know, toxic habits. All right, that's for some of you. The judgment card. So this person's coming in. There's a comeback around. Okay, so even if you've taken a step back from this person, maybe you just thought this was just too damn slow. With the temperance card, this person's coming in. It's like they've made some kind of a decision that they want to move towards you. Um, maybe you're making a decision now because you're at this crossroads. But I do feel there's a sense of success and recognition here. Maybe this is sort of like the communication that you've been waiting on. Or there's a conversation that's going to make you feel, I don't know, successful, recognized, a victory of some kind. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles. For some of you dealing with a person where they were waiting on some kind of a judgment um, or a closing out in relation maybe to a, a commitment or someone they were financially responsible to, because Queen of Pentacles could be another queen in the mix, Leo. It's um, not gender specific, but... I have to point out like it's a different character for some people. For others of you, this is like someone that was not able to commit to you because Queen of Pentacles is my loyal and committed queen um, and, you know, wasn't willing to commit or was too cautious about going into commitments. So it slowed the connection down and now they want a second chance as a comeback around, okay, because they, they're seeing you as someone they want to commit to. So let's have a look at this Six of Wands. Yep, the world, beautiful. And then the tower, my goodness. Okay, Leo, so something that's gonna shock and surprise you. 
You could be dealing with someone that lives at a distance as well with that world card. So that could be also a factor in why things have been slow, but it's also, you know, the world is accomplishment and the tower card is disruption energy. So I almost feel like you don't see this coming maybe because it's just been so long with the temperance card. It could be that things didn't come together because of something to do with timing, right? Um, I also see with the tower card, it's like a crumbling of the old. And as I said, there's a reinvigoration. So maybe there were things that just needed to be released or let go of. The tower card is usually things that are not working, need to crumble away in order to rebuild something stronger. And maybe that's why because of timing, you know, things haven't come together the way that you had hoped, right? Like it needed to take time, um, maybe to have something more balanced between you and this person, because like I said, there could have been things in the way. Um, let's see, the tower and the three of wands. Something that you've been waiting on, Leo, is coming through and it's like you're not expecting it with that tower card. It's a shock and a surprise, a shock reunion reconciliation. Um, I feel like this person is now looking towards the future, three of wands. They could have also had a bit of a tower moment, Leo, or they've gone through something where something recently has crumbled or fallen apart. That might be what they want to communicate with you about. And that could be the turning point, right? So it's a completion of the old um, and a new beginning, Ace of Wands. But like, let's get a little bit more clarity specifically on this person and their feelings and intentions. So um, as I said, we've got a lot of fire energy. We've also got strong Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio and Cancer Pisces. Okay, so tell me please spirit specifically this person's feelings and intentions. We've got the Emperor. So I feel like someone wants to put work or effort in to build a strong foundation with you, Leo, because this is about, you know, the crumbling of the old to build um, from a stronger place, right? A stronger foundation. Um, so I just saw the Ten of Cups as well and the Nine of Swords. There is stress here, maybe because it's been so long, Leo. This person's just not sure anymore if this is going to come together or if you'll take their offer. But we've got the Lovers card first up, Queen of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. We've got the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Wow. And then a King of Pentacles. So um, interesting, Leo, because we had the, king, the Queen of Pentacles here and we've got a King of Pentacles. So this person's intentions, they want to build something solid with you. They want a partnership. Um, I can see with the lover's card, this person sees you as a strong soul connection. So they're very drawn to you. Um, it could be though that Leo, someone has to make some kind of a choice or they could feel like you're weighing up your options now, right? I did say that, you know, you may be at a crossroads, so you might have a choice to make. Um, and you know, maybe this person kept you as a, a choice or an option for some time. I don't know, but the two of pentacles is like, there's a sense of um, someone's weighing up their options here and needs to make a decision with the lover's card. So maybe that's why I'm picking up that kind of stress. Okay, so maybe they're not sure if you're going to move ahead with them. I do have the king and the queen of wands here. So I feel there's heavy attraction and desire. There's an intention to have something more solid. Maybe Leo as well with the queen of swords here, you kind of like stood your ground with this person or spoke a truth to this person or vice versa, Leo, maybe there was an argument of sorts. Queen of Swords can sort of cut, cut someone, you know, with their words. So maybe there's a bit of this back and forth on how to actually come forward. But I see with the Queen of Cups, you know, this person um, views you as someone that's got their heart. Okay, and we've got the Ace of Cups, exactly, and the Hanged Man. So whilst this person's feeling like things have been quite stuck, they've always sort of kept a foot towards you. They also could have one foot still like they're closing something out outside of your connection. And then now they've got one foot towards you for this new love beginning, Ace of Cups, right? And then I've got the Ten of Cups and then I've got the Empress, wow, okay? And then the Two of Wands, beautiful. So we had the Two of Wands over here. So there is this sort of crossroads energy. Um, I think that they're now looking towards you and they're thinking about how they can come forward. And I do see communication and movement, Leo. So I feel like this is happening. Something that was very slow is now speeding up. Um, you're coming up like an empress and we've got a 10 of cups. So there's a sense of fulfillment and happiness with you. Um, I'm just getting this, this energy like someone here will need to make a decision. I feel like maybe this person has decided 
but maybe they kept you as an option for so long that you're now in a place where you need to make a decision, okay? But we have the Nine of Cups and the Magician card, so that's really beautiful. So they have been trying to manifest this new start with you. There's a sense of fulfillment. You're like a wish to them. Um, yeah, okay. And there is separation here, Three of Swords. There could also be, like I said, a third party energy that may be interfered with this connection with the Three of Swords. I just feel something has shifted here with this tower and it's almost like something that was holding this connection up is now crumbling and there's a completion in order to allow for a new start, okay? But something here also about decisions. So Leo, you'll have to decide what's right for you. Um, let me just get one of these mystic black rows. What's going on here? Okay, frozen. Yeah, so a lot of you are not speaking to this person or something. It's just not moved for a while. Not speaking, not taking action. Um, like it's been at a crossroads for some time. Escape, avoiding, blocking, pushing away, hiding. Yeah, I feel like someone was definitely suppressing their feelings or maybe avoiding issues that needed to be worked on with that devil card. As I said, there could have been some... Um, things that needed to be healed, worked through, habits and patterns that were not healthy. Um, mm, as I said, that negativity, witchcraft. I actually think it could be also the presence of a third party that was interfering with the connection that was causing a lot of negativity. But I do also think that that's what's being, that's what's crumbling now, Leo. Okay, with that tower. Yeah, memories, conflict. So... Leo, you could have had a conflict with this person. There's definitely memories, reminiscing, good times looking back. That's that Six of Cups energy. And I do feel like maybe there was something that caused a conflict between you and this person. Um, and then moving, environment change, boxed up. So also that could be a shift happening because for those of you who live at a distance from this person, it could be that there's some kind of news coming in that there's a move or that this person wants to move towards you um eight of wands is also you know movement and distance and then i've got the union card reconciliation coming back making it work second chance right which is the judgment energy so there you go and also illuminate revealing the truth confessions shedding light so there's some kind of news conversation or communication leo and it could shock you because if you feel like you don't know the truth of this person's feelings or they've never expressed that. It could be that that's the tower that they're coming in because they want to express that to you. Okay. Or they want to reconcile some kind of a conflict that you've had, right? Um, for a second chance. Anyway, Leo, that's what I've got for you. I hope that it resonated. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, as I said, and I will check in with you in two weeks time. Lots of love.